Welcome back. Let's update you more. Long queues of people volunteering to receive the COVID-19 jab have continued to be experienced at Naro County Federal Hospital, with most of the people being public servants consisting of teachers and security officers. The face of vaccination seems to take a new turn as hundreds of people are now volunteering to take the jab. This comes days after the government called on all public servants servants to get vaccinated, failure to which they will face dire consequences. Overwhelming number of people volunteering to be vaccinated as long queues of people volunteering to receive the COVID-19 job have continued to be experienced at the Narok County Referral Hospital. The face of vaccination seems to take a new turn as hundreds of people are now volunteering to take the job. All Popongi Primary School head teacher Kiprono Kesgoi, who had volunteered to be vaccinated, said the main challenge they were facing is long queues that compromised their classroom teaching hours. He decried that many people were traveling from far distances to get the important job and forced to wait for long before they could be vaccinated. And hence called on the county government to help distribute the job to the nearby health centers. Lakini challenge kubwa ambayo niliona nilipofika hapa niliona laini ni mrefu sana hata kupata laini hata kupata hiyo chanjo saa hizi inakuwa shida. Na pia niliambiwa hapa kwa Riparo Hospital Naro eh, inafika tu saa sita alafu inafungwa until the following day. Na tunaomba tu serikali ya county pamoja na serikali the national in ni ni distributed among the the hospital ambayo tuko nayo katika ward Lukweri Olemumo a resident of Enda Segera area in Narok South sub county said he had arrived at the facility early in the morning and has been forced to wait for several hours to get the vaccine he, however, called on the residents to volunteer to be vaccinated, saying it was the only way to curb the global pandemic that had severely affected many households. The residents have lauded the government for the efforts to provide free vaccines, hoping that the vaccine would help eradicate the spread of COVID-19. Isabel Mwangi, KU TV. <laughs> And now, let's take a look at COVID-19 numbers where today 1,488 people